here she comes, off-road pass. What's up? It's Eric. I'm in the studio with the new Arma Creighton 4S. Uh, this is the V2 uh, 4S model. It just looks absolutely amazing. First of all, big shout out and thank you to Armin Horizon Hobby for uh, sending this out to try. Uh, can't wait to put this thing in the dirt, get for a run. This thing looks really, really sweet. It really impressed me straight out of the box. I really love the uh, body right here, how it's black, kind of a charcoal black, metallic, tapers down to the blue. Arma always kills it in the uh, body design department, so big props to them for that. You may be able to tell this thing is a little bit wider and also a little bit longer than the previous version. It's about 19 millimeters longer. So you're uh, at almost an inch longer than the uh, than the previous uh, Creighton 4S version. All right, guys, on the inside, it does have the new Firma 120 amp ESC uh, 4S capable, and then the uh, 2400 kV motor, along with this uh, fan and heat sink right there, as usual. Uh, it's got the tower-to-tower -tower brace. One thing that really stands out to me is the new aluminum body shocks uh, for this 4S model. These things look really cool. You can still add your uh, plastic spacers right here. It's got the plastic shock caps, but it's aluminum body, which looks like a three millimeter or possibly four millimeter shock shaft. I have to measure it. But I mean, the shocks on it feel super plush. And it's got a really nice travel too to really keep them tires on the ground. They did add in some really beefy uh, steel joint CVDs right here. It's got a nice uh, steel ball joint right there. Super thick uh, CVDs. You shouldn't have any issues with those breaking, hopefully. It's got a nice bumper right here. So you got a nice cush right there for any kind of uh, big nose hits. Really digging this uh, wheelie bar right here, just like the uh, V3 Big Rock. And uh, granted, it has that nice uh, wheelie bar that's really, really sturdy and also holds the truck down too. It's not, it doesn't sit up too high. So as soon as this sucker squats, as you can see, the front tires are still in contact with the ground, which is really cool to a uh, hold down power. I love to hold down power in my trucks. Uh, with an on-demand wheelie, but but not just out of control wheeling. So that right there really helped the handling of the truck to keep her planted, so you can uh, get your get your uh, power down to the ground. And one really sweet thing about this uh, V2 model is it's got, as you can hear, she's got all metal gears, so no more uh, plastic gears in your diffs that are going to strip out under a uh, big power and hard driving. So really uh, excited to see how those hold up. Really excited about another option of tires. This is the uh, Copperhead 2 LPs. Uh, it's got the 17 millimeter hex in it, so you can pretty much run this on any uh, rig that's got the 17 millimeter hex. So it's just cool to have another option. They feel really, really plush, and they are prevented, as you can see the hole right there. So they're prevented from the factory to uh, keep the crap out of the tire. Uh, we've been venting tires for a long time, and it's just really cool that uh, Arma has done that from the factory. Here's the radio. It's got the uh, standard SLT3, really nice radio, nice, nice foam uh, wheel right there. It's got nice tension, uh, nice tension and a throttle. And uh, you got your, all your adjustments right there. So it's really, really cool remote. I've had no issues with these. Here's a quick shot of the box. There's another option color of turquoise and black. It looks really, really cool. Here's a quick shot of the side of the box. You're uh, longer and stronger. You got 21.54 inches long all the way together. Again, 19 millimeters longer than the previous version. Uh, you got more shock travel uh, for better handling, especially in rough terrain. You got your uh, composite lock nut for the slipper, 17 millimeter uh, hexes of wheel nuts. Again, you got your awesome wheelie bar right there, tower to tower brace. Uh, it's got a new wing mount. It's got the aluminum bodied shocks. It's got a brace and a bearing right there to help stabilize your center drive shaft. The new Copperhead 2 LPs. You got to, you got your big steel uh, spur gear inside there. You got really beefy uh, A-arms. And uh, you're 17.72 inches wide, uh, which is 48 millimeters wider than the previous version. That's, that's a substantial amount more width, so that's really cool to really help, uh, help the handling of the truck. You've also got steering right here with more clearance for stones and stuff so you don't get uh, stones and rocks and debris uh, stuck up in your steering arms to uh, clog up your steering. Again, you got your oil-filled aluminum shocks with silicone O-rings, uh, which is really cool for butter smooth suspension. Here's a quick comparison next to my Creighton EXB uh, 1.8 scale. As you can see, it's almost the same size. I mean, it's, it's not much it's not much smaller at all. Of course, this thing doesn't have tires on it, but as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not a huge difference. This thing is, this thing is beefcake to be 4S. All right, guys, we're gonna give her a first run. Again, big shout out to uh, Arma and a Horizon Hobby. Uh, this thing looks really beautiful. Uh, their innovation is uh, second to none. I know this uh, 4S, this new 4S line has been long awaited for, and here she is. So we're gonna give her the ultimate test. This thing handles 4S, uh, no problem, no drivetrain issues. I may try 6S in her, so that'll be the fun uh, test right there for sure. But anyway, can't wait to get her out. Again, a uh, big thanks to Arma, Horizon Hobby, and uh, we'll see what she'll do. All right, guys, got the new Creighton 4S out for her first maiden bash. Uh, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I just want to get a feel for the truck, see how she handles. This is my first 4S truck in a long time. 
Uh, this is my first Creighton 4S, so really excited to try this thing out. She's completely bone stock. I didn't do anything to the truck except turn up the punch on the ESC to punch five, which is max punch. So we're gonna give her a quick little run, see what happens. Yeah, guys, she's pretty quick out of the box. Stock gearing. So far, guys, the truck feels very responsive. Handles nice. This is really loose, dry dirt, too. She's hooking up nice with the uh, Copperhead LPs. Man, that was smooth. She's balanced. Not a bad little jump for a little 4S. Oh! Oh! There's LVC. <laughs> That's an old 4S battery too. So I didn't think it'd have a whole lot of runtime on it. We'll check the temps real quick, guys. Again, that was a whole pack. Pretty much running a uh, full throttle the whole time. Let's see what kind of temps we got. Oh, she's full of dry dirt. Got 149 on the motor on that side. 132, about 135 or so on the ESC. So that's not too bad at all for a full pack out in this uh, near 100 degree weather heat. <laughs> so it's definitely a room to gear up in this thing. Can't wait to try that out next, but really impressed with this truck guys so far. I mean, she's super plush, it handles really nice. Uh, she stays planted when you want her to. Uh, very responsive, the truck feels really light. Uh, it's not heavy at all, especially compared to her uh, bigger sister 1.8 scale uh, Creighton. So we'll throw another battery in her and uh, see what we'll do next. Oh, barely. Arma tough. Alright guys, let's check out that chassis. I know this is landing on flat ground, so it shouldn't be too much on it, but it is a lot of a lot of impact coming off of that ramp. She's still perfectly good, no cracks. Yes, sir. All right, guys, I strapped on a Sky RC GPS. I just want to see how fast this thing is uh, off-road. We're going to do an off-road speed run with it. Be kind of interesting to see uh, what kind of speed it gets on this uh, on this flat dirt. So I got the Sky RC GPS up. She's reading. Let's just see what she'll do. And here she comes, off-road pass. Yeah, guys, she books for all stock gearing. All right, let's 
see what she got. Stop, read, 51 miles an hour. That's pretty quick for off-road, guys, for a stock, uh, box stock truck. 51 miles an hour, if you guys can see that. I'll make sure I'm catching it in the camera. 51, so that's, that's pretty good. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the maiden voyage of this truck. Uh, so far, I'm super impressed with it. She's super agile, uh, tough, handles with jumps. Uh, we'll definitely gear it up a couple of teeth, nothing too crazy, uh, unless I upgrade the ESC down the road. But right now, the stock electronics are definitely moving this truck really fast, uh, lots of power. Even with the stock gearing, I mean, she'll still wheelie up on demand and uh, definitely has loads of speed. So big shout out to Arma for another awesome truck. Uh, this thing is, I know there's a lot more innovation that went into this, a lot of changes compared to the last version. The uh, V1, uh, the shocks look good. Arms are, are good, no cracks in the chassis. Everything held up just fine so far. So can't wait to get this thing out again. You guys stay tuned. We'll gear it up a little bit and get a little more crazy with her. We'll see what happens. All right guys, until next time, RCD81, peace out.